Hello gamers, this is the Compulsive Critic, here with another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. Still currently in Chapter 2. Today I'm going to show you how to break any wild horse. Along with that, I'm also going to show you how to get the best saddle in the game. You get this early on. This will provide for optimal stats on your horse. As a bonus, I'm also going to show you a trick to get free horses from the stable. So in chapter two, you're going to go on a mission with Hosea entitled Exit Pursued by Bruised Ego. After this, you have access to the stables. After you have access to the stables, you'll be able to stable your horses there. This will allow you to break other horses, bring them to the stable. That way you can have multiple horses that you're ready. We're going to go up near Lake Isabella. We're going to get the White Arabian. This horse is fast and elusive. It's very skittish around predators, so be cautious when using this horse. And just over the rise here. Advise caution here because she'll run quickly. It's hard to catch her in the trees. There she is. You can ride up and lasso horses and then begin to try to calm them down and so that you can mount them. You're okay. But sometimes with the runners, it's just better to kind of walk Easy easily, now. calmly, and hit that calm button as you approach. While the horses settle down a bit, okay. walk a little further. As you see, she's kind of staying nearby. She's real beauty. Continue to calm her. Now, many people have different methods for taming the horse and breaking them when you mount them. The easiest way I've found is when you mount that horse, after you calm them a bit, you pet them a couple of times here, 
And when you mount that horse, when she bucks to the right, you move your stick to the left. She bucks to the left, you move it to the right. This will allow you to maintain control and remember to spam that comb button. As she's bucking and you're fighting her, you hit that comb button. This will allow you to quickly and easily tame any horse in the game. Just like that, we have her settled down. I walk her up to your horse. And now what you're going to do here is you're going to instantly bond with the horse. Get your saddle off your horse. Let's lighten the load here, boy. And place it on your newly acquired horse. Come on, girl. Bonding level one achieved. On a side All note. Right. You can continue to call your horse. Up to two horses will follow you. And it will give you more storage room for any pelts or animals you want to carry. Folks come from all over from On to saddles. You can purchase many different saddles, combinations of saddles, stirrups, bed rolls, horns. Among the different stock and improved saddles you can buy, Go ahead and select the one that's most expensive with the best stats. Adding on to a saddle helps personalize. You buy the most expensive stirrup. It has the highest stats of anything you can purchase from the stable. In my experience, I've found these are clearly not the best, best stats that you can acquire for your horse. For that, you're going to want to go to Trappers. For me, I found the Rattlesnake saddle is by far the best, most evenly distributed saddle in the game. Also, it's quite easy to get this early. All you have to do is just make sure you uh, create several small game arrows. Create more later if you need them, obviously. But as you go around the uh, countryside, you start exploring the uh, environment. Start killing snakes. You need ten perfect snake skins. And the easiest way I found to kill a snake with a small game arrow is to go into first person mode when you get near one of those snakes and take a nice shot to the head. As you can see, I find the rattlesnake saddle is better than the alligator saddle, the panther saddle even, and the cougar saddle, clearly. I'm not fond of the way the panther saddle looks. It's okay. I really like the style of the alligator saddle. But the panther saddle, I'm surprised, didn't have better stats. It's fine, but it goes, uh, goes a little low on the core drain for the health, which I prefer more health than my, sword, not my horse. It's not a big difference. It's kind of a give and take between those two. But I prefer the rattlesnake. Now, to get a horse for free from the sable, get yourself a wagon and go ahead and pull into the stable. Come on. 
As you see, you'll see my Arabian sitting in the corner there. But off on the other end, there is an Ardens. So you're going to want to become a suspect here. I recommend putting on a mask, obviously. So you're classified as an unknown suspect. And just kind of shoot at the barn. You see a witness starts uh, ranting about disturbing the peace. People start running about. Now you want to wait until the law is alerted. You want the crime to be reported, not just a witness. <laughs> While we're waiting, we might as well go over to the horse. We need to make sure we feed it. You want to feed it until it shows the temporary horse icon. As you see, the crime has been reported and we're wanted. And I have the temporary horse icon. I find the long silvery hair looks really good on the white Arabian. So they're searching for the unknown suspect. We have the law coming. Time to get out of there. Go out the back. They're coming through the front. Hop the fence. Whistle for your horses. Our wanted level will go away really quickly. It's no big deal. And since we have our mask on, they won't know who you are, so you won't be uh, bothered by any kind of bounty. As you see, my main horse showed up already. It may take several ex extra seconds. But there's the Arden. Come on, girl. Get it. And we have a new horse for free. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you find the information helpful for your future playthroughs. Please take some time and you know hit that like button. It helps me build my channel. If you'd like to be notified of future videos. Hit that subscribe button and hit the notification button. Any future videos I put on, you'll be instantly notified of. Feel free to comment and share this video. Join me next time for another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. Y'all take care now.